Hello guys and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, and thank you very much for joining me. Look, we're following this bendy bus. Wow, he managed to spin that round. We've got a bendy bus, which I hadn't noticed in the last episode. You may have spotted it, but yeah, thank you for all the comments and the tips and the help that you guys have been giving me as we expand our city here and work towards trains and monorails. That's really what we want. I do have quite a lot of assets added into this game, and I think these buses must be one of them. I hadn't noticed those before. Let's come away from that. Something else I'd noticed was this guy here, Pizza Planet, which actually, you pop in for your pizzas, you come away with your pharmacy drugs. <laughs> That's what it is there. So, yeah, there we go. So, we are trying to grow. Let's have a look at what we're doing so far. We've completed this bit here. We've gone over 1,000 people in 20 weeks. We are now trying to at least get over 12,000 people in 150 weeks. If we just pause the game, we're just over a third of the way through. And we're almost at a third of the people that we want. That is going to be quite tough to hit that. Um, do we have... We don't have high density yet until we get to 8,500. So that will be a bit of a jump when we get there. And um, we have some needs and things. Not enough educated workers. Well, that's fine. We've just upgraded uh, one of our schools to a high school. There we go. So we've got people going to that. That's got a 1,000 students. We could probably do with another high school already. Yes, we could. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's going to cost us. Let's keep the game going. 24,000. So we're nowhere near doing that yet. But we need some more commercial, even though these guys are saying <laughs> there's not enough people working, which is very odd. So maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll take that under advisement. Um, we could sort of fill in these bits down here. It's not too busy. I don't know. I like the way we're keeping this free, actually, at the moment. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing, we expanded this last time. This will change, I'm sure. I'm just thinking maybe we'll have... I don't want to take out any of this to put in... Let's have a look. To put in commercials. So maybe I'm going to expand. Okay, so just so you guys know, what we're going to do this episode is definitely hit the 12,000 that we need. So I'm going to put a bit of a time lapse in. I'm going to expand over here, doing sort of what we've already done. Uh, repeating this pattern here and seeing how far that gets us. Because I really want to get into adding the trains in. What's happening here? We're getting some... Little tiny bit of build up of traffic, nothing too bad. They may change that junction there just before. This is still Piper Boulevard. Let's change this one here. Uh, what we're going to do is take that out and we're going to have that one stop there to let these guys in first. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Right, so cue the time lapse. Right, just to keep you updated, I paid back the first loan that we've got. I'm struggling to keep up with the demand for electricity and to earn enough money to buy something else. I know these are probably better in the long run, but I'm sort of going with the coal power plant until we can upgrade them to something better. Uh, these are obviously costing us I a lot of money. Um, so with the expansion that we've got at the moment, we can see people are upgrading. They're filling up this new area. Um, our water thing over here, actually, can we just put this in here? To make sure that this always has power. There we go, look. 8 megawatts. That'll be good. Let's run that from there to there. 
And then that's always going to run whatever happens. That's going to give us a bit of a boost in the city. Not much, but a tiny bit. There we go. Just to keep things going. And the next time we get enough money, I'll stick another coal power plant. And that should help us with our expansion. Now, what I would like you guys to do in the comments below... Oh, people are leaving. They're coming back again. We're still growing. Is to give me a good name for the city. It's called Sigilville. That's how it was named uh, with the start of this scenario. I want a cool name. Uh, we always go with tea-related stuff, so give me a cool name for that. We are also going to start naming some of our districts as well. We don't have any set up yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. We need another road on the end of each of these to get them the same. Haha, I haven't spotted that. Let's get that going. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below any ideas you've got. There we go. And we will put those in in the next episode. There we go. I'm always interested in getting you guys and girls involved in naming stuff. Uh, we'll connect that up to there. That should work. And then if we go all the way down to here, that'll work. And that'll get that connected up as well. Excellent. How are we doing towards our target? 61 and we're up to 4,000. We need to grow some more. We need to grow some more. Right. Another little update. 5.2 thousand people. And we've got lots of needs as well, which is good. So we can start working on some of those. I put a load of paths in just to help people get a, around easier. Um, I'm removing the electrical pylons as and when they can be removed. What I'm also thinking of doing is obviously we've got these spaces up and down this main street here. Is whether we could add in... Let's have a look. I'd like to get these right up against there. Is add cycle lanes up and down the sides like this i may let's have a look if we do that then i'm guessing they will get off their bikes and cross over can cycle lanes go up and over roads I've, I, do you know what i've not I barely used cycle lanes let's they can well that could be interesting we could have cycle lanes going up and over the roads and help people to cycle although actually no thinking about it no, I'm going to take those out because ideally, once we get to having enough money for trains and monorails and stuff like that, we want people using that, don't we? More than, of course, <laughs> using any other modes of transport. That is something that I will change as the game goes on. So at the minute, I'm trying to build it in a way that helps people get around. We've got buses, we've got all sorts. We've got fast roads. Now, if you remember, if you were around and watched my ferry transportation series, let's just have a quick look at this. How's this guy going here? Trucks in use 15. I've just noticed a couple of people complaining about trash. Now they're okay now, they're okay. Uh, we deliberately made it hard for people to get around with anything other than ferries. And that is what we will do in this. Once we've got past our initial... Uh, problem here of making sure we hit 12,000 people. I'm really worried about getting to that because otherwise this will all be over. Um, I want high density stuff which we're going to get when we hit 8,500. As soon as we do that then I think that's going to make a big difference but things are growing, things are getting there. We've hit just a busy town. There we go. Excellent. What's that going to give us? City planning policies. That'll be good. But look at that. Free public transport. Some nice new roads. We're going to upgrade all the roads to get nice trees. Oil power plant. That'll be helpful. Excellent. What's this enforcer? Oh, top of the range police stuff. Good. Right. So, how about we increase these nice roads that people have got around here to ones with trees? Because they will really like that. There we go. It will make everything a lot posherer. That's a proper word. Don't correct me on it. And hopefully keep people happier as well, which is what we got, which is what we want. So when we get to the point of hitting 8,000 and we want to upgrade a load of these to high density, we'll have the infrastructure in place where they're already going to be happy. So, yep, I'll carry on doing this. Right, we've done a little bit more expansion just down the end here. These guys, of course, are going to complain all about electricity. I oh, know they're fine. It's just this park here. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. I've got nothing else zoned in there. We have a little bit more need of industry. I'm really trying to sort of balance this as best I can so we don't end up with uh, too much. There we go. Too much of anything that sort of messes around with... Let's start from this end. We want to go there. That sort of messes around with any of the balance that we've got in the city between residential and industrial. Yeah, I want to go for that one. 
No. <laughs> I want to go there. There we go. We'll go from this end then. It's not going to... Oh, there we go. That's weird. Wouldn't let me hook up. And then we'll just have another one in there that'll overlap slightly. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, so trying to sort of keep things balanced so we don't have anybody complaining. Darn it. <laughs> I didn't want to go wonky like that. So we have nobody complaining about any particular needs. That's my that's my aim overall. But we've sort of reached the end of the first square. We, we haven't quite filled it in. We've got some spaces there. And we're not maxing out. Um, let's all of that in. We're not maxing out all of the space, are we? So we do have other spaces left that we can build in if we so desire. But it's looking alright at the moment, isn't it? It's getting there. We've got some parks down here as well. Let's have a look at the... There we go. This one here. The land value. So this is pretty high in the middle here, which is good. That's exactly what we want. So a lot of this, as soon as we get to 8,000, is going to be upgraded to high density stuff and i'm hoping then that our population will start climbing through the roof because so yeah it's this next one here 8500 high density commercial <laughs> because i'm getting worried about this <laughs> that we need to get 12,000. we're just about halfway there so yeah there we go um shall i fill in the rest of these i may as well there we go. I'm staying two back from the end. There we go. Excellent. We've got a little bit that can go in here as well. And then we can fill all of that in, can't we? It's two back from the end there. There we go. We'll leave this bit blank for now. We'll see how we go. Traffic is fine. I mean, there's a couple of busy spots. This is a busy spot. But as you can see, moving perfectly well. So is that there. We've got these other road connections coming down here. Uh, the last things I need to add are bus lanes into this one, which we haven't done yet. So we'll do that. There we go. And I'll get that running all the way around into our industrial area as well. Uh, let's do some stops this side for this one. And then we're going to come up here. Um, is there any point in adding stops there? No, because I want these buses to run under their own steam. Let's see, how should we do this? Yeah, let's just go the other side of the road here. There we go, we'll connect that one up. I've worked out, I mentioned in a previous episode about the prefixes. There we go, we'll change the colour. Nice, I like that. It's this number here, 1234, so it keeps it in the order that you've put your bus routes down for. So that's working well. That is a hard colour to see. Let's change that to something else a bit different. There we go. That different enough from the other one? Yeah, perfect. Excellent. Now, looking at this section down the middle here, I put these paths down here, but of course we can't zone anything against these types of paths. But I have this addition here with some zonable pedestrian boardwalk. We've got a tiny road, a gravel road. Let's have a look at some of these. Look at the difference. Uh, we've got this one here. I think that's a normal one. We've got that one. And we've got this one. That's a bit bigger. So that's more like a bit of a boulevard for walking through there. But we can zone down the sides. I like this one here. Oh, this is taking trucks as well, is it? So what sort of... So he's a van delivering goods. And he's going very slowly down there. Okay, then what's he going to do when he gets to the end? Let's have a look. So cars can cut through. I'm not sure I want that. And then these are just walkways. Oh, okay. Cars are going on the gravel roads. And they probably go on this one as well. I think we're going to stick with this wooden looking one. This one here. I think that looks very good. So we'll take those ones out. And I'm going to replace all of those with this wooden one. Because then that means... Uh, nope, it's under roads. That's this one here. Then that means we can zone parks and things either side of this and really sort of start making this central section look nice. I think that's a good idea. So let's take that out. There we go. Ah, oh, it allows police cars on. Oh, hang on. And what's it got up here? And it allows sports cars. What? It shouldn't allow anybody on there, should it? Hmm... But obviously, it's a very slow route through. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't let anybody on. In fact, it's letting everybody on. <laughs> what? Hang on a sec. What does it say on there? Boardwalk for mixed traffic. Great for beaches. Pedestrians to walk. So, gravel roads. Oh, so it still counts as a road. Paved tiny road. 
Stone Tiny Road. Pedestrians and emergency vi Ah, there we go. Stone pedestrian roads are accessible to pedestrians and emergency vehicles. Pedestrian cyclists and emergency vehicles. Oh, maybe we will go with one of these instead then. Uh, let's unpause that. Let's take that out. Yes, I think we'll end up going with one of these. Pedestrians and emergency vehicles. Cyclists. We could do every other one as a cyclist, perhaps. What do we think? Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Yeah, there we go. I've put those in there. Not sure whether I'm going to keep them or not. We shall see. The idea was, is I'm trying to increase the land value or getting ready to increase the land value. In fact, they've actually just increased the land value on their own. Ah, so maybe I will do that then because we're trying to get people to move in down here. Let's, let's remove these. Let's have a look. So let's take out that, 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 and that. Let's have a look at the land value here. So we're sort of in the mid-range here. So then if I add these in, uh, let's start with the bicycle ones in the centre. And then we go every other one like that. And then we do the same there, bicycle. And then every other one. And then we have the stone ones there. If that really increases the value, then definitely worth going for. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that matches up. Let's have a look. I'm not sure it does particularly. That's definitely spread out more. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. So I'm trying to work out what it is that's particularly increased the land value over here. I think it's just the schools and the stuff that we have. So let's just have a quick look. High school, yeah, we've got more schools and things up there, haven't we? We've got high schools down here, but yeah, we need to definitely get some more elementary schools spread out around here. So maybe we'll do that as well. Let's pop one. Are they sort of in the middle of, yeah, they're in the middle of housing, housing zones. One, two, th uh, one, two, third one in, one, two, three, fourth one in. Yeah, they're not lined up particularly. So let's pop one in the middle of there. And high schools we've got spread around. So hopefully, let's have a look. Yeah, that's definitely increased it down there. Good, good, good. We've also got access to unique buildings. We, With the population that we have, we have up to level four. I know these will also help to increase uh, the land value around the place. But there's, I don't know whether there's one particularly... Oh, there we go there. Upgrading. Good, good, good. That's what we want to see. I mean, these friendly neighborhood parks and things, they're quite expensive. But I think one of these would go nice down here. In fact, one of these would go nice. <laughs> what is that place there going to be? I just spotted the purple. Neighbourhood shop. Ah, oh, excellent. Okay. One of these would probably go nice in the middle here. Down this section. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's have it off of this one here. In fact, I'm going to delete... We don't need that anymore, do we? No, that's fine. See, we can sort of get that in the middle. Oh, complaining about water. Oh, 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 what have I done? What have I done? I should sort it now. I think we've literally just dipped below how much electricity we've got. There we go. And how much water we've got. So that should be... There we go. Yeah, excellent. They should all kick in. The electricity is fine. Good, good, good. That's okay. Yeah, so let's see if we can put that little park in the middle here. Unfortunately, oh, it's going to go one way or the other way. Let's put it there. Let's see how that looks. Oh, actually, that looks really nice. I like the way that connects up. And people can walk over to that as well. It's connected up to all the paths. Oh, very good. So does that increase the land value? It does, just around it. Just in a small way. So maybe we could spread a few more parks around these little sections down the middle here. Which I think would be really helpful. Although it's going to cost us a lot of money. What about a botanical gardens? Where's the lowest... This is the lowest land value down here, and this is the section that we're sort of looking at at the moment. So maybe a botanical gardens opposite there, would that fit in? Just there. Oh, it's going to delete some stuff though. 
All right, well, we'll live with that. Hopefully, they'll move back in again. That shops and things, they should. I think that looks nice in the middle there. Yep, yeah, people can walk to it. Excellent. And they'll start moving in there as well. Good, good. What are we up to at the moment? 7,000. Oh, my goodness me. This is going to be so close. 95,000 out of 115. We're up to 7,000. We've got to get to 12,000. I want to get this 8,500. Come on, come on. I'm seeing a few complaints of trash uh, around here. People not getting their rubbish collected. So what I'm thinking of doing is just expanding this road out this way a bit. And adding... Let's have a look. Yeah, I want to get him as far away. Excellent. There we go. That should be okay. As far away from everything as possible. But hopefully covering this end of town. We just want to get as many services as possible down here. To keep these guys and girls happy. And be ready to upgrade the second that we get high density stuff. Very soon, very soon. I'm thinking of expanding this bit out here as well. Because we're almost filling up all of our space. Do you know what? We may as well. I've sort of kept that. This side here is mirrored this side here. But we may as well carry on and use up all the space that we've got. Time for some industrial expansion as well. I've taken a look at where the pollution goes. It just sort of goes to the edge of the road that was there before and then expands a little bit. So if we go to here, I'm hoping pollution won't reach uh, all the way over to those houses. If they do, we could maybe adjust that slightly. Uh, they should be all right for water. So let's add in uh, all of this up to there as industry. Let's go to the edge of the road. There we go. We could have this in here as well. We may as well. That is a main route through, but we should be okay. We should be okay. Um, I don't think I want to put any more into this area here. So we'll let that go. We've expanded up to the river over here as well so hopefully we'll see some more growth there with 7700 population we are getting there <gasps> my goodness it's going to be close there we go all of this has got nice but land value happiness is good people are pretty happy uh, what i'm thinking of doing actually is dropping down Oh, grief. Do we need the budget up that high for electricity probably not so i'd completely forgotten about that let's drop that down to 100 percent and take a look and just see whether that's okay. Yeah. Water's all right. We'll leave that. Yeah, taxes. We're at 12%. I was thinking of dropping those down to 9. Just to try and encourage people moving in. And also, let's have a look on our policies. Now we have city planning policies. Oh, we don't have these ones, which would be great. Population of 12,000. Uh, heavy traffic ban, encourage biking. There's nothing here that's really going to help us in our city, is it? Um, increased tax income, extra tourism, free public transport, which could be good. We'll have that one on, actually. We'll probably lose a bit of money. Schools out we don't want. High ticket prices. Yeah, that should help. Let's make, keep an eye on our money. I mean, we're, we're earning money okay. So hopefully that's not going to drop too low. But that might encourage more people to move in. Let's see how that goes. How are you doing? Yeah, you've got all your trucks going out. I don't want you to suddenly become, oh, you're 95% full. We need 8,500 before we can get incinerators. Okay, so that hopefully shouldn't take too long. We do have some parks down here. We have plenty of bus routes coming through here as well. Let's just double check. Yeah, they're all stopping at the end of the road so people can walk if they wish. Okay, well, let's just see how it goes. I was hoping we were going to hit 8,500 before this thing became full. We've got, we're trying to empty it into another facility, which, of course, we don't have. So I'm going to have to put another one of these down somewhere. 
hopefully far enough away. Let's stick it next to that part there. Hopefully far enough away from the houses that the pollution isn't a problem. We're 8,312. We're almost there. We're almost there. I've spread out some more schools and things as well. Uh, I've been also moved my bus route, so they now take in all these different roads here, which we didn't have before. What is wrong with that road there? Oh, it's a smaller street, isn't it? Leading down to there. Uh, maybe we need to upgrade that so it matches everything else. Yes, I think we do. Uh, it's not going to let me do it because of the school. Darn it. So let's move the school to there. Let's move the park up there. Let's upgrade that road. Let's move the park back. Go on, you can do it. Let's move the school back. Excellent. There we go. Very good. Oh, and I don't have this set out yet for any of this. Okay, let's get these guys going. In fact, I'm only going to go up to there. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure they're going to complain. Any that are too close to this. <laughs> so I really don't want to do that. Oh, and I haven't finished out my paths over here either. There we go. We finally hit it. Big town. Good grief. So we have more taxation policies. Level 5 unique buildings. Blimps Metro. I'm sure that's going to count towards trains. Which is good. So we'll have Metro, Trains and Monorail. Leisure Specializations. What do we get? Education Boost. Tax Raise. Tax Relief. Oh, High Density. That is what we want. Incineration Plant. There's loads of things that we can add in now. Which I think is really going to help us to grow. So let's slow down for a moment and have a look at our policies in our city. So, really still haven't got those. What is the ones that they added then? I thought I thought we got those. Uh, big town. Yeah, that's the one we want. Boom, 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 boom. Tax raise, tax raise. Tax relief for low density residential. Tax relief, tax relief. Yeah. And that's the ones I'm looking at. Do, 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 do. Policies. Taxation. Ah, oh, there we go. Tax raise, tax raise, tax raise, tax raise. Tax relief. Tax relief. Tax relief. Tax relief. We just want people to move in. And we can have offices now. <gasps> Which will be excellent. So, where are we going to put those? I mean, we could put offices <laughs> all through the middle here, can't we? We can have loads of them, but we definitely want some high-density stuff coming in. I'm thinking, let's have a look. This will be interesting. I'm thinking if we put offices down here, so anything that's down here will go. And then all of this will be offices, uh, including, no, not alongside the parks. I don't want that, so let's take that out. So that is going to buffer... Any sounds and stuff that happen along here. Um, we can also do... Let's have a look. High density. I reckon if we take out like a big chunk... Actually, no. Let's not do it like that. Let's have a look at where our best land is. Our best land is this strip down the middle here. So anything sort of around here. Okay... So it doesn't go that far. So maybe, how about we do this section over here? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm just looking at where the road is. This road here. We've got some commercial in here. How about we take out... Let's do it here. Let's take out... I'm going to take out a big chunk of residential. And then that's going to come back as high density. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's the idea. We'll do the same down here. We're going to take out a big chunk of that. Well, this will be interesting. And put in high density there. Let's just do a bit. So we're going to suddenly have... We're going to have a big dip in our... <laughs> how many people we've got. What are we up to? We have less than 40 weeks to go to get up to 12,000. I don't see why we can't do it. Where else have we got? So, this bit over here. Yeah, all of this bit over here could go as well. This section here. Let's do that. So, everything from there to there. There we go. Let's let that build back up again. And let's keep an eye on our population. And oh my goodness me, what are we at? 5,000 and dropping. 
Yes, we could do with an incinerator somewhere because we've got this guy over here who's trying to empty into something and he can't. We don't want it anything. We don't want it near anything else. Let's pop it there. Um, yeah, he can now empty. That's good. And then we'll get rid of him. Schools are looking good. Bus routes are fine. I don't want to start adding metro yet. But I want to see how this grows. Oh my goodness, it's been decimated. We're down to 4,300. <gasps> Let's speed it up and see what happens. Okay, a little update. I've changed a few things with the roads over here. So instead of those two motorway junction, uh, motorway roads we had coming through there, highways, changed that to a six-lane road. That is working much better. Uh, this one here, I really wanted it along here, but I ran out of money to change things around. That's helped things move around a lot better. Um, but once we hit this final target of 12,000, I really want to remove those assets from the game. They pop up too often. <laughs> I don't like them. They look very nice. Uh, once we've reached our target of 12,000, then we're going to start working on how people get around our city better. Oh my goodness me. Look at this one here. This is absolutely gigantic. Who are these guys? Top banking. Well, there we go. Offices are moving in, which is good. So, I've extended the road down here a bit. I bought another square. Um, just so we could extend out and get some low-density housing going. We've still got lots of space in here that we really want to get full up. Um, the value of the land is high, which is really good. Um, so, it's just trying to get people to move in. That's basically the upshot of it all at the moment. So, every time we see a need, I'm just sort of... There we go. Let's get rid of that there. Let's get rid of that. Ooh, wrong one. Let's do that. There we go. Spread that out a bit amongst the houses. And I'm hoping we've got, like, what, 20 weeks to go? 19 weeks to go. And we've got... Oh, my goodness. We're not, you know, we're growing. We're not growing as quick as I would like. So, yeah, I'm just trying to spend money wherever I can to try and increase uh, the uh, desirability of this area around here. I mean, we've got everything else is covered. Everybody's happy with what they've got. So if you actually look at the happiness, you know, happiness is off the chart. It's just literally a matter of time. Uh, health coverage we've got everywhere. Fire coverage is a bit low down here. We've got that one over there, that one over there. We could do with something this end of town, couldn't we? So maybe... What about if we go in here somewhere? That'll sort of cover this area. And then when we get some more money, we could put another one down here. In fact, how much is this going to cost us? 12,000. That's basically going to take most of our money. Uh, police coverage is fine. School coverage is fine. Uh, we've got some of these dotted around all over the place. So maybe we could put in... Yeah, another... Let's have a see. Let's pop that in the middle there as well. Yeah, and see how that goes. Uh, we've got bus routes everywhere. Yep. Bus routes up and down everywhere we need for them to go so it is just literally a matter of time to see whether we can reach that target of 12,000 it's going to be a close one I tell you well we are so close to hitting 12,000 I've done some more expansion along here just to get some more low density housing areas for people to move into we're at 11,100 and we have six weeks to go can we do it? Well, we're getting every week 243. So technically, yes, we can do it. And as long as our population doesn't drop under 12,000 at any point, then we should be okay. Um, I've had to take both loans out to get building. So really, I mean, I've got schools in here. I've got parks in here. I've got all sorts of stuff dotted around all over the place to try and make this place... Somewhere that people just want to move into without messing around. I want them in here quick. You know, get in there, get moving in. Oh, man. And get my uh, and get my population up. That is basically what I've been trying to do. So, let's just maybe expand. What's that going to cost? 1,800. Got to keep an eye on the money. Let's get some more industry going. What have we got here? 
Yeah, let's go up and make good use of this space here as well. We can go all the way to the end. Like that. Yeah, that'll be good. Just get some more basic industry in here. I think we've got a good balance as well between offices. There we go. Offices and industry and all that sort of thing. Generally speaking, everybody seems happy with what we've got. There we go. And the traffic is okay. Now that I've changed these rows, this little roundabout here, the junctions are far enough apart. This is starting to back up. This will end up being a different shaped roundabout using different roads at some point. 11,600. I think we're going to do it. We have four weeks left. Oh, good grief. It's been, I tell you what, you know, I've been sort of fiddling around. Oh, let's have a quick sip of tea. Changing things as I go. So every time I see a slight need, like we need more commercial, I've then come down here, had a look, and said, right, look, nobody's moving in here. Let's take that out. Let's turn that into high-density commercial and say that one there. There we go. They're not going to want to live right in the middle of high-density stuff anyway. So they will probably end up moving out and we'll change it. But for now... And that's, you know, just what I've been trying to do to get towards this target of 12,000. It's been hanging over me three weeks to go. <gasps> My goodness, can we do it? Come on, I want this last couple of under to kick in. We can. 944, 956. Two weeks to go. We've done it. Oh my goodness, 12,000. <gasps> That's been so hard to get towards that now. Finally, we get trains, we get monorails, we get cable cars. All of these sorts of things that we can start putting in and start planning out our big city. That has been the aim all along. Yay, excellent work. You have made the city grow into a metropolis. If you wish, you can take on the new challenge. Build zones of each... Oh, there we go. It's telling us. Each industrial specialization, farming, forestry, ore, and oil, and connect them to your train network. Well, now that we have the ability to actually make trains... Uh, it's been added in here somewhere. I never remember which one it is. This one here. Oh, it's all been unlocked for us. And we get monorail. Oh, fantastic. So we can now work on our city here and add all of that in. I think this place is looking fantastic. A lot of that has been down to your help. So thank you very much. Wow, some of these buildings are amazing. I'm loving them. I'm loving them. Not sure that that was the best uh, use of their funds there, McDonald. But hey, there we go. <laughs> so guys, hit the big B with the tea stain to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode tomorrow. Now that we've just gone for the bog standard city to hit those targets, we can now move on and start planning and demolishing. We're going to get trains bringing guys from here to over here. Yeah, we're really going to start planning it out. So any ideas you've got, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget we need a name for our city. So let me know about that as well. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to leave a like as well. That's always appreciated. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.